Hello everyone, just a quick update uh, regarding previous videos and the last video I uploaded. I'm currently in London about to go to the Ritz for some lunch and then afterwards we're going to Strictly Come Dancing, hopefully. Now don't worry, I haven't come into a load of money and not told you all. Basically the Ritz was a present from my parents and Strictly Come Dancing tickets are free, first come first serve, so we'll see about that. I'll probably put a review up on my written word blog uh, in a couple of days. But I just wanted to mention a couple of things about music in YouTube videos. The last video I uploaded was a concert video from BNB Nation live at Scala in London, which I went to with my brother. The gig was fantastic, and as I explained, the audio quality from the iPhone isn't that good. So, I'm going to move your hand there just so you can hold on to that. Expose the microphone. So, what it is. I had to use some music from BNB Nation's album. And in previous videos, I've uploaded copyrighted music. This is for a number of reasons. Primarily, I feel that it just adds a bit of dramatic effect to the videos I upload. Now, YouTube has currently got a system in place where it can detect what music you put in there and find out whether it's owned by a third party or not. And if it is owned by a third party, it then checks and on some occasions disables it in certain countries and primarily it seems to be Germany that my music is, um, my audio is dis disabled in. But also in some cases it disables the audio completely so I need to go back and re-upload at least one episode of the Maya Diaries. Just a quick word on why I've done this. I put this music in and I specifically state where the music comes from, not only because I feel it's important for people who enjoy the music to find out who's playing it and who's who's you know, performing it, but because I think it gives a bit of a bit of free advertising. So my ethos is that if people enjoy the music and they can go out and find the artists and support that artist by buying their music. So hopefully I can choose some better music in the future that'll be more more applicable to YouTube and um, well we'll see. See you next time.